Hey yo, what's up ladies and gentlemen, it's your scientist and today I am back with another video. Now today we're going big because you gotta go big or you go home. So today we're going hard so that we don't have to go home. And basically we are going to be building our biggest gallium object today, even bigger than our coke bottle. That's right guys, we are going to be building a massive Lego, man, this thing is like bigger than my face. So we're going to have to use all of our gallium in order to make this thing happen. But first, we've got some smaller gallium molds, some little ones. See these little guys? We got some little some little uh, Lego blocks. We even have a medium-sized Lego figurine. So we're going to start off by making some mini Legos and trying to build some stuff and see what we can do with that. And then we're going to move on and make our massive gallium mold. And then we're going to see how much damage this thing can take. We've got a bunch of different items we are going to use to see if we can destroy this or if it'll stand up to the test, including the gallium paintballs from the last video and a bunch of different things that, you know, our boy Dustin's got, including this thing right here and a few other tools because as I didn't mention, but I just said Dustin's name, but you probably pieced that together. Dustin's on the camera, so you know we gotta destroy some stuff today. Give it to me. Give it to me. Bam! Oh yeah. You have serious issues. What did, what did Red Ranger? Oh! Without any further ado, before our galleon hardens, shall shall we get into it? Mm. Oh wait, we forgot something. Giveaway? No, no, no. 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 <laughs> Not a giveaway. Coming soon though, coming soon. Giveaway coming soon. Um, something else, really important. Likes? Yeah, that's, that's what I the thought. one. Guys, if you're excited for another Gallium video and you wanna see more, smash that thumbs up button. You guys have been killing it so far. Let's try and get over 30,000 likes again on this one today. And let me know in the comment section if you have any ideas as to what other things we should build with Gallium. I know I got a few ideas in my head, but I know you guys are geniuses too, so you're gonna come up with some banger ideas. So let me know down below in the comment section, and let's get started. All right, first things first, we're gonna start off with the Lego blocks, because I actually wanna try building something with this. We'll see if we can build like a little mini Gallium wall. So you gotta start off, take out all your Gallium, and then just whoop, fill up the mold. Why is it so thin? Ugh. Yeah, you could do that too. Uh. <laughs> there you go. All right, so we've got our Lego blocks done. No thanks to Dustin. We're gonna put this off to the side. Oh, it's so heavy. Oh, oh yeah, it's yeah, leaking, okay, it's half. leaking. Uh-oh. Trying to clear that up. All right, we're gonna let that finish and then we're gonna move on and we're gonna do our little mini Lego figurines. We're not gonna make all of them because we don't, we don't need eight little Lego figurines, but we're gonna make like two or three. All right, we've got our Lego figurines being made. We've got our Lego blocks being made. We just gotta wait for a little bit. We'll be right back and then we're gonna pop these out and see what they look like. All right, guys, as you can see here, our Lego molds have been frozen and they are ready to be taken out. Let's take a look at what we got. Ooh, yo, that's crispy. Check that out. Damn, damn. All right, let's pop the rest of these out. The back isn't, isn't super smooth, but it, just ignore that. Ignore the back, look at the front, look at the crispy lines, the definition. This the is a full-fledged, Chrome Lego guy. Now let's move on to our Lego blocks and see how they turned out. Ooh, that one's nice. Check that one out. Turned out pretty good. It's a little Chris. more simple, so it's easier. Got the two on top. All right, we're gonna pop the rest of these out and take a look at all of them. All right, guys, there you have it. There is all of our Lego taken out of the mold. As you can see, it's kind of vibes. We got like chrome, metal, Lego. Normally, what you use when you're a kid is like it's yellow, it's purple, it's green, it's all the different colors of the rainbow. But, but it ain't gallium. So I just wanted gallium. to hype it up a little yeah, bit. I mean, so you, no that's reason. where I was going. That's we're kind of on the same way. You're going the same direction. But it ain't gallium. gallium. Okay, we're reenacting right. a Just Dustin Wall video right now, guys. It's going down. How do you make these big walls, bro? I mean, usually it's not out of gallium, but you know. True. That's just Dustin, gallium edition. 
Pain train is coming, baby. Whoa, where's the sous -vide? No, that, that's not what I do. Oh, you don't sous after? No, no, I don't. Oh. That's on, yeah. That's true, you do the pain train. Yeah, yeah, But just yeah. sous for fun anyways. There we go. All right, so we made our gallium wall 100 layers edition, and uh, now it's time to move on to the big boy. All right, guys, we've got four, well, it's like three and a half gallium bottles right here. Hopefully, that's going to fill this all up. If not, we're going to have to melt this down and add it in, but let's get started. Sideways. Gallium. Oh. oh. Wow, to the dome. Here. Yeah, All that's right. enough. That's definitely One enough. down. Oh. Are we going to have enough? Yes. Absolutely. Here we go. Check that out. This right here is a regular size Lego figurine. Look how small it is compared to this thing. I would say it's about a hundred times larger yeah. than a regular figurine. So this thing is massive. It's probably going to weigh like, what, like a hundred pounds? World yeah, record? Definitely. Largest gallium Lego. Yeah. 100 pounds yeah. plus world the, record. And the camera adds a lot of pounds too. Yeah, so maybe 200? Maybe. No, nah, let, let's say stick it no, one. No, we'll stick it one. Nice yeah. Right? Okay, yeah. So 100 pound world record largest gallium Lego figure. We're going to put this in the freezer, let it freeze overnight because there's so much gallium in here. It's going to take a little while for it to freeze. And we'll see you guys again tomorrow. A few moments later. All right, this is actually the hardest part. We're gonna try and get this into the freezer. It's 100 pounds, keep that in mind. Oh! Yeah, exactly. I, oh! I called that. What do we do? I would just walk to the freezer slowly still and then pour more in if you need to. Oh my God. Ah! This is not helping you, is it? No. <laughs> oh my God, open the freezer, open the freezer. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah! All right, guys, as you saw, we lost a lot of gallium. We need to get some more. So we're going to go grab the syringe, fill that up, and try and add more into this and resuscitate this guy. Oh. Uh, uh, gallium, 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 gallium. Uh-oh. Gallium on my shoulder. Well, good news is I think we resuscitated our Lego man. He's good to go. Now we've got to clean this up. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, it is the next morning. Okay, it's not the morning, it's like 3 p.m., but you know, we like to sleep in here. Time to go check out the giant Lego mold and see how our I'm going ahead of you, I don't even care. I'm going ahead of you, I'm going ahead of you, I'm going ahead of you. No, I'll let you open it. I'll let you open it. This is your, you know, I feel bad. Wait. Cue the intense music. It's hard. We've got a couple like clumps here. I'm not a big fan of these. We might have to melt these down, but let's go over there and take a closer look. All right, so take a look at this, guys. So remember when we were going to put this into the freezer? Uh, had a little bit of spillage, mm. and that is now hardened into. Oh wait, wait. Can you hold it there? I mean, it's like a like a like a you know. Oh wait, let me. Oh. Don't break! Don't break! Don't break it. Can it's you like grab the fist? Kind of. Oh. Bop, bop, bop. Yo, new age weaponry, B. That's like Star Trek. That choo, choo, choo. Anyways, not what we're here for. This is what we're here for. Take a look at that, guys. I like that. All right, now for the moment of truth, we gotta try and pop this bad boy out and see what he looks like on the front, cause that's really the money maker. Oh! Oh, even his eyes and mouth. Yo, check that out. That's. Pretty That's literally flawless. perfect. That's that is flawless. It's so cold though. Oh Let my god, I have them. to set it down. Wow. Ah. That's colder than ice. Okay, now before we move forward, let's do another size comparison. This again is our small regular size Lego figurine. Wow. You can barely even see it. It looks like a it's a part of the thing. This is like the Godzilla of Lego figurines. Legit. It's even bigger than the power. Okay. Close. It's, it's, it probably weighs more. It's not bigger than Definitely the power. Definitely weighs range. more and he could take out that power range. Definitely. No doubt about it. But now that we've got this massive piece of metal that is rock hard, frozen, and like I said, massive, it's time to see how much damage this thing can take. So we've got a few different weapons that we are gonna test out on this thing and see how strong this metal is, how strong this giant Lego figurine is, and if it can stand up to all the different weapons we have. So we're gonna head outside and test it out and see what happens. All right guys, now for the destruction portion of today's video, 
you know I'm a scientist. I don't like to handle these things. So again, I'm gonna pass it off to my buddy. It's your sniper and he's gonna take care of the rest. All right guys, so we've got our giant Lego figures set up over there. We've got our paintballs ready. We're gonna start off with regular paintballs, see how it holds up. And if it can hold up to the regular paintballs, then we're gonna up the ante and go with the gallium paintballs. So let's get started. Oh. All right, what do you want, Dustin? Headshot? Yep. All right, here we go. For the dome. Face though, face, not top of the head, not face. I knew it! I Did knew you get it! Did you get sprayed? Yes, I got sprayed. <laughs> well, I didn't tell you to stand close to it. Yes, you did! I did not! Yes, you did! I mean, I said it at the beginning, but you didn't have to stay close to it. I'm done. I was gonna let you shoot the paintballs, but if you're done, then I'll no, just... No, no, no. I like shooting things. Oh, you want to? I like shooting oh, okay, things. Okay, okay. Alright, Dustin, are you ready? Yeah. By the way, you didn't hit it in the dome. I know, I hit it in the neck, though. That's not bad, right? I didn't say neck. Alright, here we go. Alright. Go for it. Ooh, that's a headshot. Another one. Crotch. Alright, Dustin. Hey. I might have to consider you for part of the sniping team with It's Your Sniper. Well done, my friend. Well Gladly. done. Gladly. Not Anytime. bad. Anytime. It's all over the lens. Yeah, it is. Oh, God. Alright, guys. We've tested it with the regular paintballs. It stood up. It's covered. But it's fine. Completely untouched if we wiped all that off. So time to up the ante. We've got the Galleon paintball. Oh! I saw that break. What happened? I saw it just shattered. The bullet just fully shattered. Wow, he's unfazed by a gallium bullet? Yep. I think it's time we get something a little bit stronger. I agree. All right, guys, as you can see, our gallium Lego figure has stood the test against the paintballs. Now it's time for a second test. A little bit stronger one. We've got uh, just Robin Hood right here with the bow and arrow. Let's go. Oh! Oh, oh my God. Fly, Oh, look at that. Look at that. Did some damage? Took a chunk out of his chest. Nice. Holy shit. All right, guys. I don't know how well you can see this, but right here, the tip of the arrow bent. So the Lego man wasn't the only one to take some damage. Both, both ends, this is an unstoppable force meets an immovable object, and both of them took damage. But we're going to go for a second round. I like that. Here we go. Bro, 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 bro. All right, guys. The tip is completely broken. Did you get, I got showered yeah, by gallium sparks. Right yeah, away. guys, as soon as I connected with the gallium Lego figure, I literally got showered with specks of gallium like all over my face. Not gonna lie, I was kind of shook for a second. But let's take a look at our Lego figure and see how it's holding up. All right, as you can see right here, another chunk got taken out with that shot. So two big chunks, but it's still in pretty good shape considering. I think all that's left to do is up the ante again. All right guys, next up we've got this here knife. Now, I think traditionally it's used as a throwing knife, but we just want to test how much damage this is going to do on our Lego figurine. So we're just going in close quarters, straight combat. All right, let's do it. Oh! <laughs> all right, we got to pull my Lego figure down. Ooh! I like that. Okay. <clears throat> All right, execution. Here we go. There's a little bit of damage. We're going for the dome. Ready? Yep. Oh, in the eyeball. Man, as this is only taking out little tiny chunks, yep. I'm just going to go off. Ready? Yep. Oh! There you go. Are you tink, tink, tink? Oh my god, look at the knife. No, I like this knife. No, 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 no. Try and bend it back. Dude, oh. oh. Yo, this thing is so strong. What the hell? We're done with my knife. 
We're All done, right. it, it wins, it wins. We're moving on, we've got other stuff. Don't worry, we're not done yet. It's your lumberjack has arrived. All right, guys, we've got an ax now. I don't know how this is gonna hold up, but it's held up really well against everything else. If this still can't defeat our Lego figurine, I, I don't know what will. All right, guys, here we go. Smash that thumbs up button right now, and remember, do not try any of these things at home. Here we go. All right, we're gonna start off with a small hit. I don't wanna just completely decapitate him on the first blow. Ready? How? Okay, we gotta go bigger this time. Saw it off at like his lower half of his yeah, body. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Another one. Right, there you go. Oh my god! Alright guys, as you can see, our gallium figurine is no more. The man lost his head. He put up a valiant effort though. He stood through a lot of different tests and he made it to the end. And the only thing that could take him out was a big swipe from from an axe. Like this thing is huge. He's also lost. Like I don't even know what was this. His hand. Yeah. His chest. I don't know. He's just broken into a bunch of little pieces. All we got left really is his lower half. So guys, R.I.P. to our Gallium Lego figurine. Comment that down below. Show the guy some love. He put up a good fight. But no matter what happens on this channel, we can't let these things win. We gotta destroy them. And like I promised, we did. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. If we can get over 30,000 likes on this video again, then I'll come back with another Gallium video. And speaking of another one, I want to know what you guys want to see next. So let me know down below in the comment section what I should make with this Gallium in the next video. Got to give a huge shout out to my boy, Just Dustin, on the camera. Be sure to check out his channel. Stop! Link down below in the description. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Toodles!